How y'all doing? I'm good. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I know you've been out, but, you know, Coach said you're back this week. So just kind of tell us about this process. And are you excited to get, finally get back on the field? I'm, I'm very excited. I just want to shout out the training staff. They've been with me this whole process. They probably seen me at a really low point. They've, they've helped me get back on my feet uh, mentally and physically. Did you feel like, Ricky, that, you know, uh, you were, I mean, I guess, how was, what was the process, I guess, the rehab process going? And, and what, what really kind of was involved in all that? Uh, really the biggest involvement was just like taking it serious and attacking it every day. Um, like rehabbing two times a day, you know, from like, you know, the physical stuff to like the treatment, you know, getting the stem and the ice, all that, just really taking it serious to get back on the field. Ricky, can you talk about the emotion, kind of dealing with the energy, uh, the injury, knowing how much you could probably help the team out there, kind of just standing on the sideline and having to kind of take it from the second hand point of view? Kind of uh, what uh, Coach says earlier, like I feel like I'm an impact player for this team, and just not being able to be out there playing for my guys, it kind of you know it, it hurts, you know. And I, you know, there were several games where I tried to play and I really couldn't, but you know I, I would have gave it up for them, so it, it hurt knowing I couldn't, and uh, yeah, just you know I just still find find a way to like play a role in the team. So I'm on the sideline, you know, guys are getting like you know putting their heads down, no pick like pick up that energy, you know, just finding ways to help. When you see the defense give up 399 yards at Kansas, what do you think as you're watching that unfold? I think that we're better than that. Like we just we got to do our job and you know get it done because that you know that we're better than that. What are they not doing? What's the defense not doing? I mean, it, it's not. I mean, it's just you know little mistakes that you know you know get us over time. You know, it's just if one one man doesn't do their job on the field, you know, we can get gashed for you know a big run. Ricky, when you guys go to these new places, is there kind of an awe factor when you get there and you see these new stadiums and stuff? Hey, you know, we're playing in Oklahoma this week. How, how do you kind of get by that and get the business at hand going? I mean, I really don't, uh, you know, get caught up in the stadiums. And at the end of the day, you know, it's a turf field, grass field, whatever it may be, and we got to put the ball down and play football. You talked about the environment at Oklahoma, but looking at them on tape so far, what stands out to you about their offense? They're a really good team. They're explosive offense, and they, they pace. They go really fast. Ricky, have you ever played against a former teammate at quarterback? No, I've not. I've played uh, I played several teammates, like whether it be from high school, you know, on the Division One level, but I haven't played like a former a former teammate as a quarterback yet. Ricky, schematically, after looking at the tape over the first few games, what are some things you think the defense can do to kind of get back to your identity and kind of establish your dominance on that side of the ball? I think everybody's just a buy into doing their job. If we can do our job, we can be a really good defense. I know you obviously want to be playing, but what, what perspective did you gain, you know, being able to watch a little bit from the sideline and, and getting a kind of a, a bird's eye view a little bit of, of what the, what these offenses are doing in this conference? I think I was able to just to really, like, watch and, like, see where we're, like, kind of getting gashed and see, like, kind of the, the things that we need to fix. What's your perspective of just the team right now and how you guys are feeling? Obviously, you came in with high expectations. They were going to compete in the Big 12. These three games haven't gone your way. You go through a bye week. I know everyone always, talk, everyone always talks about putting everything behind you, but I know mm -hmm. that can be tough to do. How would you characterize kind of the mindset of your teammates right now? Right now, I feel like the mindset, we're, we're in a good place. I feel like this bye week came in a great time. Um, the leaders of the defense we met, you know, to kind of like like reestablish our identity. We, we sat down. We said, okay, what do we want to get good at in these next six games? Like, Because, I mean, this is it for us. So it's like, what do we want these last six games to be about? And, I mean, we kind of we expressed that to the rest of the defense. So we feel great. Can you just kind of let you, so you said the, the seniors, everyone got together and kind of, you know, took control and, and you, can you elaborate more on, on that, that decision to, to do that? I mean, it was a little, uh, it was just, um, we needed to sit down. It was, it was too little too fast. We needed to sit down, kind of reevaluate some things and kind of, you know, just reestablish, you know, you know a little more control, you know, over the situation. Ricky, you're going up against Dylan Gabriel, like obviously familiarity with Dylan a little bit. What stands out to you, how he plays and how he's played so far this season? Dylan Gabriel, he's been a competitor since like he was here, you know, with us to Oklahoma. He's always been a competitor. He's a really smart, savvy quarterback who, you know, he can run a little bit too. You know, um, really good player. Ricky, can you talk about the mood and the atmosphere going into a game like this in the locker room? Is everybody just locked in and ready? Is everybody a little bit nervous trying to get that monkey off the back? Like, what do you feel truly like is the environment right now? Right now, everybody's locked in. Everybody's we're like, we're focusing on ourselves, you know, trying to go off like we, we can only beat ourselves. You know, so we, we're all focused and, you know, we're trying to get them looking off our back, definitely. Teams three and three, what do you say to critics who count you out this week, uh, double-digit underdogs on the road? I don't, we don't even listen to all that, man. It's, it's not about them, it's about us.
What else stands out about the OU offense? Uh, I know they go to quick pace. You just talked about Dylan Gabriel. What makes him dangerous? They have they just have weapons everywhere on the field from the running back position to the receivers. A really good O line, and they're 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 just a, a solid team that you know get the job done. Obviously, in your absence, you got, we've got to see Matt Alexander and uh, John Walker a lot. What have you seen from them from your perspective? They're, they're guys that can, you know, make plays and step up when needed to. You know, John, you know, he's, he got the midseason freshman All-American. That, that came from all the hard work that we saw, you know, from spring ball to fall camp. And now, like, everyone else is finally getting to see who John Walker is. And then Matt's a guy who's, you know, been here for a while who's finally getting, you know, his, his stripes and finally stepping up and making big-time plays. Ricky, as an impact player with future NFL aspirations, what are the last six games look like for you as far as some goals? What are you trying to put on tape? I'm just trying to show why I'm, why I'm able to play on the next level and also just, you know, play, play my last six games in my, my heart out for my teammates. The program's taken a couple of losses recently, but you guys have been missing a lot of starters. Now that you guys are coming back, do you view yourselves as three and three, or do you kind of feel like you're picking up before injury what your record was? I feel like we're going to be a way better team now. Thank you.